What's going on everyone, Joe Antonella here, and this video I'm going to do a little Red Tide coverage. I get a lot of people asking me every day what's happening with the Red Tide. Now this is going to be done from the perspective of how I feel the effects, not what FWC's tests are showing or the science behind it all or anything. I'm just going out there telling you what I see. No big hype, nothing like that. Um, this is filmed on Thursday and Friday, so anything that happens Saturday or Sunday, you're not going to have in this video. <clears throat> also, I'm getting over a cold, so a little bit of my effects that I was feeling, I'm blaming on that. So really not that bad out there from what I'm seeing. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into that now, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow on Instagram at H2O Vinyl Designs, and if you like my hats or stickers, go to the website and order them up. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the video. What's happening guys, we're going to make another video today and Red Tide is what everyone in this area is talking about in all over Florida for a while, but now we're just starting to get it uh, in the Melbourne area. Um, I don't know if the effects are visible, I haven't felt it yet, but they've done te water tests and it's come back positive. We got Logan here, you know him from my videos, he's got his own YouTube channel, Logan Athey, we'll put a link to that in the description. Um, but this is not some big hype, oh my god, Red Tide's going to kill this video. I'm going to do an honest opinion of whether or not it's noticeable. Not if tests are coming back positive, I don't do that. But I am a little sick too, so I'm coughing anyways. But we'll see if I feel different, and Logan too, if he's noticing something different. So our first stop is we're going to get ready to go Red Tide fishing. And then we will go fishing, hopefully. We got a live well in the back of the truck with about 30 croakers in it, and we'll take them up to the jetty, see if we can find some snook and reds. We're just getting to the park, and look at that. They're feeling some red tide well, we're in reverse. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Just pulled up. We got the meat wagon, we got some croakers in it. Logan told me something he saw while he was getting some water in the tide pool. We got some dead fish, some mullet. I can definitely feel a little itchiness in my throat. But yeah, it's all mullet. Goes all the way around. We'll see what else, uh, what other signs we can feel and see once we get out there. We're gonna gear up and head out there now. Gold, Sebastian Inlet gold. Look at the turns on this stack. It's like five in that bucket. like that just a couple more in each one we'll do that we'll keep them happy yeah why not? no net in there whoa getting your swerve on <laughs> dead fish going down the beach looks like all mullet as far down as you can see still don't feel anything in the air though all right, we got our croakers going. Let's see what happens. Get him, get him, get him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him again, hit him again. Gonna drift these croakers out in the redfish land.
Eric just pulled in a nice snook. He did? Yeah, way out where I'm fishing. And we got one. First bait. You got the rod? Thanks, Dave. I have to say thank you very much on camera. Otherwise, people say I'm mean and rude. Barely caught him. Put Tony's neck back on the PVC. I will. You can stick that in the cart. Big red fish. Red or snook? Red or snook? Red. I'll net him for you when you're ready. He just woke up. He's sucking mud. Red tide reds. Slot red? That's the heaviest small red I've ever felt in my entire life. Pliers, or you got him? He's right there. Got it. He pulled his lip off. I did. Too big. Too big. Yeah, you're too big. Ready? Torpedoes. Nice, Logan. Let me. How long has he been on there? What's it gonna be, a nurse shark or a red? It's a nurse shark. All right, All right. behind you. <laughs> I had no idea he was even on there. It's a grouper, huh? No, it's not a grouper. It feels like a red. Whoa. It's a slow morning out here. Gonna go real easy with this nurse shark. What in the world do I have? Well, this is not a nurse shark and not a stingray. I'm happy. Him up top, so I know he's not on the bottom. I hate this these rocks right here. He's starting to come in some. I'm getting close. What is it? Oh! That thing worked me. I told you. <laughs> nice red fish, nice red fish. He's either got a tag 
on him or a parasite. I want to, I hope it's a tag, that'd be cool. Go, go. That's a big one. Here. Here. You got it? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good red. That's a 45. It's between, between, uh... Look, he's up. Some spots starting on his back. Okay. Got an old wound there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right at forty or forty-two or so. Here, you take this for one sec. Yeah. Hold the bill out of the way. Big red fish. Right yeah. Go big. Watch it. You got the hook. Perfect head dive. Hi. <coughs> How was it? Did you catch a couple? Caught a couple, but. Red tide. All right guys, so my red tide report is that it's not too bad here. We saw some dead mold on the beach and earlier today, uh, Logan got a nice red, I got a nice red. So we got a, we got a few fish today. Um, not really feeling it in the air though. Not really coughing or any of that. So I'd say if you wanna go fish, get out there and do it. I know some beaches are closed, but Red tide ain't too bad, nothing like they saw on the Gulf Coast. So, until the next video, we'll uh, see you then. Later.